Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, it's almost that time. Uh, Xbox, I think y'all's uh, game playability would be the 23rd, I believe. And PlayStation and PC, I want to say, is the 30th. So, uh, hey, we're on our way. But, you know, I, I'm making this video because I want to. Well, first off, hey, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'm going to have a lot of questions for y'all, especially on this video. So, please definitely comment. Um, also, I must apologize because I'm eating Skittles. I mean, I tried to stop so I can make this video, but that, that's I got a big bag. Like, and it's just, it keeps looking at me, and I've already had a little bit. And y'all know, once y'all taste that rainbow, man, like, like, there's no going back. So I'll just try to keep, you know, the minimum, the chewing to a minimum, but like, man, that rainbow, like, but my room is bright right now. So, so I... I it seems like that overall, like there's a lot of people complaining about the game. I mean, you know, that's just the way that it is. I don't know if it's their job to critique it as hard as they do, or if they're just being that picky about the, uh, you know, uh, about their concerns that they see. I don't know. So I guess I just have a couple of questions for y'all. Well, first off, as far as how I view the game or how I'm going to view the game, am I going to related to other Bethesda's games obviously so because that's their mo however i'm not going to take this fallout game and look at fallout vegas look at fallout 4 and look at fallout 3 and then say okay this is how i don't like it because it's not because it's not how these games were and i'm not going to say oh i like this because it's not part of those other games like I'm going to take this game for exactly what it is, whatever it is. Like, so when it comes to the guns, when it comes to the armor, when it comes to the lore, it's going to be Fallout. There's no denying it. There's no getting around it. What else can you possibly do but look at it in, in that sense as it being Fallout? However, that's where it's going to stop for me at, because if I try to do anything else with the game, as far as comparisons, you know, I love the Fallout series. I love them all. So it, it'd be really easy for me to be let down. It'd be really easy for me to be disappointed. And there's no sense in doing that. Uh, just because it's not any of those games, it's, fa it's Vault 76. Like, any way you want to look at it, any way that you can compare it to, I mean, it's Vault 76, so it shouldn't be looked at as any more or any less. I mean, that's just the way that it is. So... Excuse me. I guess you can kind of look at this while I chew. I mean, it does look like... I mean, and again, the footage is minimal. Because other people have complained about it just kind of being slow. And I can understand that. But here's the problem. And th this is actually going to be contradictory to what I just spent about four minutes saying. Is that... I mean, if you really look at Bethesda games... And I mean, just Bethesda games, Fallout, Oblivion, all of that stuff, right? Elder Scrolls, just everything. It does not, like, three hours will go by in a heartbeat and you won't have anything accomplished. Like, they always make those games to where the sunrise sneaks up on you. Like, am I wrong? Like, I mean, these guys, when they make games, it takes you at least 100 hours to feel somewhat comfortable like if you want to do what you need to do and feel how you need to feel and also explore what you feel like is a you know a moderate amount of exploring in their games like so three hours as a demo for people to like have all of these concerns off of and all of these opinions like it just makes me think that they're just forgetting what what these games are about when you play them and they're just getting way too caught up in, in small details and i understand it's always small details that makes you know the big ones but but like we got to be real and honest at the same time with the situation that we're in and the situation that we're in is vault 76 so another thing that you know and i think that this could be a general concern like i have to agree with this one is the frame rate obviously 
there probably there's 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 only a few servers out. I mean, let, let's be honest. This you know they're not prepared for everybody at the time of these releases, which makes sense. However, I do worry because Bethesda, one thing that they're known for is <laughs> it, it, it are bugs. Oh my! Like we know, we know that there's going to be and a just an obscene amount of glitches and bugs because that's just how they roll like above average so frame rate is going to be something that i'm gonna really keep my eye on it's probably going to be the only thing that i keep my eye on because there's going to be a lot of us on here i mean let's just be honest there's going to be a lot so that does make me worry that we're you know going to be getting down to four bit just because we are attacking this same thing, this monster at the same time or whatever. So, my question to y'all is, is what, what are you looking for in this game? Like, what are you expecting to get out of it? Like, are you comparing it more to the Fallout series? Like, so much so that, like, if it's not, like, basically a Fallout 4.5, or something like you're just gonna you know give it a bad grade like are you gonna stop playing it like no a concern another concern i have isn't necessarily with you know anything that can be overcame and it's not gonna well i don't think it'll be a reason why i quit the game it's how there's just no npcs like me i suck at pvp like in gta like when they're just shootouts and you get you know how you just hop into a map and everybody is shooting and everybody's going nuts like i'll leave those you know what i mean because it's just too much chaos i'm just trying to chill i'm just trying to just game out and enjoy myself every once in a while you know i hop in like that but you know i roll out so that's my only fear of this game is that there's no npcs and it's just all about you know you and other people because i mean other people are wild what can i say you know if it's something like dc universe and eso i really just say dc to where you know it's not so where you know you just i think it's going to be more like gta versus dc when it comes to just being in an open world pvp and then just bang out because at least in, in DC you have the option of you know PVE or PVP but in this like you're out there it's it's the, it's, it's for real fallout which is why I can't be me be too mad at it because if it was any other way it wouldn't be fall like you can pick your friends you can pick alliances and all this good stuff but I mean you know to come across savages on a regular basis like I would expect that so I mean I'm gonna just have to roll with it as much as I don't like that but that's just because I suck at it. That's the only reason I don't like it, because I'm pitiful. So, you know, I just want to know what you guys think. Like, off of all the videos that you've seen and all the people you're subscribed to. Like, all of that. Like, what, what, what are you, what are you wanting to get out of the game? Because at the end of the day, like, if, here's what I say. I say, number one, don't look at it like any other Bethesda games. Well, maybe ESO, but that's probably about it, honestly. In my opinion, anyways. Number one, don't treat it like it's going to be Fallout 4.5 or any future Fallout games to come. Don't do that. Number two, put in at least 100 hours. After you put in 100 hours, then I feel like that you can honestly have an opinion on you know what it is that you don't like about the game and what it is that can be fixed and all of this good stuff like that but i'll be honest with you i mean maybe i should say 150 hours we are talking about a bethesda game like i don't know what to say so 100 to 150 hours minimum before you base an actual real emotion off of what the game is that you're playing period number three take your time with it though and because uh, 150 hours you could still rush through 150 hours of that game and not have anything done but at the same time you was in such a rush to do stuff that you just didn't take 
you know, or you was just so mad at, at the things that went wrong. You're just not taking the time to look at all of the good things that, excuse me, are about this game. Because I think it's going to be a hell of a game. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to give us something to do all the time. I, when you build stuff, it's just going to get better and better and crazier and crazier. And I think it's what we've been waiting for. Now, again, that's why I'm asking you to, you know, ask yourself, like, what do you want out of this game? Because it's going to be so great that you just might overlook it because of the things that the game didn't give you. And I just feel like that that's the wrong approach. Like this game is going to be amazing. It's freaking Fallout Online. Like, come on. What are you really looking for? And one thing I can say is I, I love the sound, the music and the sound. Like that's something that I pay attention to in games. Like those are things that keep you going or don't even make you want to play. So I'm really big on sound effects and I'm really big on music. And I love them both in this game. They ain't let me down so far in anything that I've heard. So yeah, all right. <clears throat> I think I'm, I'm excited for the game despite of everybody having their complaints, everybody sharing their emotions. Um, I really haven't seen too many videos out there of what is going well with the game, to be honest with you. I and mean, I know there's got to be some out there just because people are like, damn, everybody's passionate game. Let me do a good one. But a few far and in between compared to the other side. So just just play the game and love it for what it is and that's the way i see it so just let me know what you think and uh yeah i'll reply to the comments and we can get it started because i just really i just don't understand all of the negativity towards what in my eyes looks to be looks to be a hell of a hell of a what's the word i'm looking for I, I just a hell of a journey man i don't know like you just you're just have to do whatever you want with no limitations and it's it's fallout it's pretty cool so check out this last like 45 seconds of this little action going on with this dragon this game's going to be epic <laughs> <laughs> 